testimony of the end times, the false prophet and the antichrist, Jesus said, see to it that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, claiming, I am the Christ, and will deceive many, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. These things must happen, but the end is still to come. Welcomed beloved, I will begin to report how my false conversion was. I began to congregate in a neo Pentecostal church. The liberal teachings of this pastor made me remain blind for many years within the church. I thought I was saved and I knew the truth. Members of our church were going to the movies to watch the new movie releases. Sometimes the workers played a football game on the field, some took their shirts off. The next day we did Pentecostal services seeking the Holy Spirit, we spoke in strange tongues, I also spoke that day, we have done the whole month of worship that seeks spiritual gifts, I received the gifts of prophecies and cures, I delivered prophecies and revealed people's whole life, I healed the sick with the laying on of hands, but I did not leave the world, I played football and was addicted to movies. I was a person who argued with the other brothers over the job and fought with my opponents, I even assaulted my wife several times wanting to impose my authority, luckily my wife never divorced me for loving me, she was not evangelical, but she knew how to give a better testimony of life than I did, I was not converted because I did not know the truth that set me free, until God pressed his finger on my life, I lost my job and became ill. I preached that the Christians who are unemployed and living a miserable life did not have God in their lives, and the sick Christians I said they were cursed, I mocked them saying that the devil has taken over their lives, I had a job that was doing very well and I was in good health, I said that God must be in my life if I am receiving these blessings, until I was cast down and humbled by God for my self-exaltation, I became very ill and without the ability to work I was fired from the company. I prayed to God, saying, Lord, I am your servant, I do not accept these curses of the devil, God did not listen to me, I was fainting, and my wife took care of me, I was bedridden and too weak to get up, I could only walk with the help of my wife, she took me to the hospital, but my illness was hidden inside my body and the doctors could not find out the cause. I was scared to know that the illness was something supernatural because the doctors did not find out the cause, I prayed to God, humbling myself in his presence for the first time, I said, Lord, if I have sinned, forgive me, lift me up from this bed, and remember the gifts that you have given me to do your work, as a result of this prayer, Jesus in his white robes like the snow that shone a white color appeared to me, approaching my bed, he dimmed the light so I could see him. His serious face was not approving of my attitude, he said, I never gave you gifts, you were never my servant, you never did my will, I said, Lord, don't you remember that I prayed to you and I received the gift of tongues, then the gift of prophecies and the gift of divine healing? Jesus answered, it was not me, a deceiving spirit possessed your mouth to speak in tongues and used you to deliver prophecies. The cures that you did were provided by the demons and your revelations you received for every life are divination, the demons know the life of each person and used your mouth to prophesy to them, I never had you, my truth was not in your life, your pastor prepared you in the lie, teaching you a false gospel, you humbled yourself before me, I heard your cry of humiliation for the first time, your selfish prayers saying that I had an obligation to bless you were never heard or answered, I am not your servant to do your will, you have to do mine, when I heard this rebuke, my spirit in a matter of seconds was already beside Jesus, he said, I will show you in this vision the church that will operate great signs in the tribulation, this tribulation church will have millions of branches worldwide, this false church is the only one that will exist and will bring together all the religions of the whole world to form one, it is written, then the angel carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness. There I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was covered with blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns, the woman was dressed in purple and scarlet, and was glittering with gold, precious stones and pearls, she held a golden cup in her hand, filled with abominable things and the filth of her adulteries, the name written on her forehead was a mystery, Babylon the great the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth, I saw that the woman was drunk with the blood of God's holy people, 
the blood of those who bore testimony to Jesus, the false prophet is the leader of this church and will have powers to execute the laws of death, killing people who do not follow the beast, it will be a totally idolatrous church full of miracles and cures, the images of this church speak. And even heal everyone who touches them, this church has the power to intervene and take away people's freedom. The power that this church will have in people's lives was given through the beast because of the covenant between the false prophet and the antichrist. These two persons will command the world in the great tribulation. The religion commanded by the false prophet who is the beast who came up from the earth, and the policy commanded by the antichrist who is the beast who came up out of the sea, in the vision. I saw the spirit of the beast rising from the depths of the earth, from the deepest infernal abyss, and the other spirit went up from the depths of the sea, even from the deep, I believe these two beasts were trapped in the abyss of hell, the spirit of the earth beast went to the Middle East and won all of Asia, the people of Israel and the Muslims accepted the beast as their king, this man introduced the anti-Christian religion that came about as the whole appearance of charity is quite attractive. The false appearance of goodness offered the people all iniquity and abomination, the false prophet did not fight evil but strengthened sin, this false religion created two gods of flesh in which the people could see and talk, the false prophet made the world population bow before him and the antichrist, this religion was the most idolatrous of all time, and operated as many signs as it had never seen before. Not even the churches of our day did as many miracles as I saw in the vision, the false prophets of our day will be too small in healing operations compared to this religion that will come to subdue the world, the Antichrist will be a strategic man and will lead all religions into a single religion, to which the false prophet will be the greatest religious leader of all time, the world taken by the religion implanted by the Antichrist will be marked with its sign. This mark will make many be properties of the beast, and thousands upon millions of demons were released to work in the church of the false prophet, the Bible say, then I saw another beast rising out of the earth, this beast had two horns like a lamb, but spoke like a dragon, and this beast exercised all the authority of the first beast that rose from the sea, and he caused the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast who is the Antichrist, whose mortal wound had been healed. I was frightened to see several dark shadow cults invading earth, all the people who went to their churches were not faithful to God, their congregations had the same name as the denomination founded by their pastor, but in tribulation the one that was being worshipped in the temple was the beast, his statue was within all the earthly churches that were previously places of worship of the true God, all the Christian people, who had denied Jesus were inside the temples and they were being submissive to the greatest authority of the earth, I mean the false prophet, the immorality reached a high level that every kind of sin was considered normal, the spiritual lives of the people were poisoned by the religious system of the beast, people were spiritually dead through teaching, worship and the idolatry of the dogmas of the beast, the Holy Spirit no longer works in people's lives because of the rottenness of sin. The submission of the people to the anti-Christian teaching caused the Holy Spirit to depart from them, the Holy Spirit was with those who had the seal and remained hidden from the pursuers, the false church caused the spiritual death of almost the entire world population, there were no more evangelical churches to worship Jesus, the temples were invaded by the images of a beast, the true worshippers were worshipping Jesus in secret places, and the great signs, healings, strange appearances and tongues were taking place in the temples of the worshippers of the beast, all this happened without the presence of the Holy Spirit, millions of people worshipping, several churches open, but God's chosen ones were not there, because Satan usurped the altar of worship by taking the pulpits of these denominations by profaning them with their filth, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand, then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains, let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house, neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes, and woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day, God's people lost their freedom and preached the hidden word of God, 
What has been revealed to me was that the world religious system will reign on earth, and no other religion will stand before this gigantic organization that will crush the world and annihilate all religions on earth, Jesus said to me, write down everything you saw and witness on earth, then Jesus showed me in a vision how the millennium will be, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea, the earth began to be green, flowers, plants, and trees grew in dry, infertile places, even in the desert grass grew and water rose, the city of Jerusalem looked like the Garden of Eden with its beautiful flowers and fruit laden trees, there were varieties of fruit, clean water had no pollution, the people of Israel were happy in that land which is the true breeder of milk and honey. Everyone worshipped Jesus as he came down to visit the people on earth. Jesus left his representatives in Jerusalem, then went up to heaven. The life expectancy has increased from 200, 300, 500 and 800 years as of old. The deaths were natural, for the angel of death has not yet been judged. Revelation 2014 and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire, it will be when death will be annihilated from the earth and no one else will be able to die, in the millennium there will be deaths and also new births, abundant life was all over the planet, those who died ascended to heaven, their life development index was so high that a 200 year old man spawned multitudes of children to fill the earth, the population of the people of Israel was almost destroyed, all the infidels died, only the remnants lived in that place, a woman of 100 years was very fertile and she gave birth to many children to reward the deaths of the people of Israel during the tribulation, the desert began to produce trees and plants that cure diseases, these people that were the still had not their bodies changed, but they still had their sinful natures, but they obeyed Jesus people who were not from Israel traveled to Jerusalem which is the seat of world government, it is from Israel that Jesus passes the laws to the four corners of the world, Israel becomes the leading country that rules the world, God exalts his nation before the peoples, his promises to make Israel a great nation is fulfilled, lions et grass, all carnivorous animals became vegetarians, the snakes had no more poisons, the people played with the lions and the snakes, they swam with the crocodiles. Nature was in harmony, the climate was not disorganized and inverted just like today, what is planted, given, and all fed on the fruit of the earth, the money and the currency created by the ambitious man. Banks and markets aimed at the financier were destroyed, the earth gave everything by replacing the market and the banks, gold, jasper of God, replaced paper money when the people wept. They were glad to see Jesus descending from heaven to them, brothers my spirit has walked through the millennial Jerusalem, it is something wonderful, upon the earthly Jerusalem, there was a city of floating gold that was above the clouds, the people of Israel saw this city, it is in the universe, right on top of our planet, it was far to consider the height of the universe to earth, but its brilliance was as resplendent as the sun, at night that giant square glowed like a star, it looked like a city of fire because it was all yellow gold, by day it was not as visible as the night, a great cloud covered that city by day like the cloud covering the sun, Exodus 13 21 and the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud, to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire, to give them light, to go by day and night, that was how I saw the square city at night shone like the sun and by day a cloud covered it, both the fire and the clouds symbolize the direction and the right path, somehow that heavenly city was leading the earthly city of Jerusalem, the fire and the cloud were the presence of God who led the people of Israel, the heavenly Jerusalem right on top of earthly Jerusalem means that the presence of God is looking at Israel from above, the light that came from the city above radiated blessings, prosperities and the anointing of that people, the church was in the heavenly city with Jesus, where the king is, it must be the queen, he will rule the world with her, when someone was sad in the earthly Jerusalem, Jesus came down and comforted him, the people of this city saw angels, they descended and manifested to the people, even ate fruits and vegetables afterward, the laws that were put in the world were about righteousness, morals, holiness, and the duty of every person, 
the technology that was born of the fruit of the science of evil that contaminated the whole world to the children no longer existed, Jesus communicated with his people when he came down. The church was in the heavenly Jerusalem together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit finished his work on the earth, he was the mediator of the people to Jesus when he was absent from the earth, it does not mean that Jesus cannot be on earth, since of course, Jesus came to visit, but as the Holy Spirit was on earth, it was necessary for him, Holy Spirit, to stay, now that Jesus has manifested to his people, the role of mediator of the Holy Spirit between Jesus and man was annulled, Jesus is now so close to them as their king, following the descendants of David, he is the last king of the seed of David, the everlasting king who will remain with his people forever, God the further could not be seen by the people of Israel, they were still mortal, the church could not go down to earthly Jerusalem, the people had their bodies changed and they are holy, I had the pleasure of having this vision next to my master, and Jerusalem is slowly going down to earth, it will only stay on earth when our planet is sanctified, undergoing a transformation, false teachings, I was taught in a false church that we cannot be poor and have diseases, I was taught that God's word had so much power that even if a matter was not God's will, God's word can be used to make things happen. The teaching of the church about positive confession, healing, health, and prosperity was directed to the things of the earth and their achievements were the goods of the earth, the talk of holiness, renunciation, sin, hell, and rapture point to rewards that await the saved. I left this church by order of Jesus, there was nothing that added in my spiritual life, and you who congregate in neo-pentecostal churches leave them, for they will take you to hell, I was deceived by their doctrines, I cast out devils thinking I have authority from Jesus. He appeared to me and showed me in a vision of how my life was, I was chained from head to toe, he told me, look at your situation, how can you drive out the demons if you are imprisoned by them? My son, you do not cast out devils, nor can you have my authority, how will you handle my sword if your hands are imprisoned? Son, you must first let go to receive my gifts, you cannot use my spiritual tools in this condition, today I break the spiritual chains of your life and free your soul, you will be free, remember, do not go back to practicing your past works, if you do, you will be double chained, this time by seven demons. This was the warning Jesus gave me, he is kind in offering a new opportunity for me to begin, may the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be manifested in every home, in every life and family, Amen.